Here is a compilation of Karens doing utterly stupid things. This crazy Karen was hiding in the back of this woman's truck. Please get out of my truck. I will. I'm so sorry. Did you take anything from the truck? No. Okay. I'm just asking because you thought it was your friends. Do you take anything else? Be honest now. This is your chance to be honest. Did you take anything else from the truck? Is this not for me? I don't know you. No, it's not for you. Okay. I've seen a lot of people comment that the lady with the truck should have helped her. But dude, imagine if some random stranger was hiding in the back of your car. I'd be furious. What do you guys think? This entitled Karen doesn't like this dude fishing. Are you serious, man? Excuse me. Oh, sorry. You, you okay? Sorry. Well, maybe you should walk around me. Really? I was here first? No? Don't count. Oh, all right. I'm a call your town to check on you. I live here. Do you vacation here? I thought so. That was lame, Karen. Just walk around the guy. He was clearly there first, just minding his own business. This insane male Karen really hates cyclists. Come on. Don't hit me. Huh? Don't what hit what me. are you going to do? What are you going to do? Huh? Put it on tape, surfer against a c huh? Is that what you're gonna do? Tough guy. You wanna be a tough Call guy? The cops. You're not so tough right now, are Call you? Call the cops. You're not to so tough, are you, small guy? You're short. I'm following the guy. law. You're not following the law. You're a tiny little man. Huh? 21760, oh, three I feet. smack you so f***ing good. If there wasn't any witnesses, you know what I'd do to you? I'd pull Trump on What's you. What's your name? Huh? My name is your worst enemy, fucker. I'm your Huckleberry, buddy. Huckleberry, you short little f***ing punk. Huh? You come through this town thinking you're f***ing really cool on your bike? Like you own this lane? What a weird interaction. For anyone wondering, male Karen's reference of I'm your Huckleberry is a quote from Val Kilmer's movie, Tombstone. <laughs> Do you know what? Real men, real men, they're over there and they are ballin'. This crazy Karen apparently doesn't like teenagers playing in the park. So what you can do? Show us what you can do. Oh, boy? Oh, 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 she just called me boy. That's crazy. Oh, oh, oh sh bigger. You gotta check the nails. Check the nails. That's actually nice. Yeah. Why don't you I like get them done? That's beautiful. That's genuine. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That you're nailed. Go on, say cheese. Go on, say cheese. Go on, say cheese. Go on, say cheese. Yeah, cheese, yeah, cheese, yeah, cheese. Oh, your boat. Hey. I love how we get an up close tour of the Karen mobile. She even has lashes on the headlights, bro. <laughs> A little bra for your little dog on the subway nope not on karen's watch but i'm pretty sure this is illegal if the dog is small enough to sit on your lap or just fit in a bag this crazy karen is claiming that her car got damaged by this woman's door and calls the police watch as this cop checks the paint and karen's accusations quickly fall apart okay what's your side of this man she didn't open the door but just before i say anything can we look over here if my child opened the door, where's the dent? First look for the dent. Okay. Like there, there's no dent. It does, and I haven't moved the car. I stayed here. I didn't want to be blamed for a hit and run. She came in. First of all, she screamed like, oh my God. My child was scared, we went inside. Then like 10, 20 minutes later, she came in. Are you gonna take responsibility for this? For what? The, the car doesn't, it doesn't even align with what dent. There's a dent over here. But the, the, the if, she, if she, my child even opened the door, she would have to like scrape against it. I don't see a dent. So I apologize because yes, it was my child's fault, but there is no dent. Okay. And I didn't leave. I and I told her I don't want to talk to you anymore. That's it. My child's crying in the car right now. I stayed here. No, I did what I needed to do. And I'm telling you my side of the story. There is no scrape. There's no dent. There's nothing on the car. There are so <laughs> well, they don't match up with. I, I agree with her point. They don't match up with her door. Um, so not, not 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 all the scrapes are, are from that. But the thing is, if I'm carrying my car and they have that attitude. This is what I'm going to tell you. This is not a motor vehicle collision. She does not, she's not legally required to give you her information. 
If you want, if you would like to take down her license plate and give that to your insurance company, that's up to you. We did. So, but um, as far as a law enforcement standpoint, she is legally not obligated to give you her information because it's not a motor vehicle collision. She it's, already it, what it is, uh, ma'am. What it is is it's a civil issue between you and her, and you could take her to civil court. Yes. So it's not. It's okay, it's baby. Not a come, motor here. Vehicle collision. come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Well, you have her license plate, I would give that to your insurance and let them go after her however they do. Listen, we didn't do anything wrong. We didn't do anything wrong. Well, I mean, a a accidents happen. What she's trying to do is calm her child down. I'm, I'm in agreement actually with her that the child didn't do anything wrong. I mean, they made a mistake. And I apologize. First thing, my child did something wrong. I apologize. I apologize. That's all something you could bring up in civil court, but really it's irrelevant at this point to me. This Karen sends her drink back because she didn't want ice. But little does she know that an absolutely disgusting male Karen is working who fixes her drink. Here you go. What's your act, bro? No ice? Oh, you don't want no ice? I'm so sorry. Just no ice, man. I'm making your Bye. This male Karen is upset that his neighbor has a Joe Biden sign on his lawn and demands that it gets removed ASAP. Excuse me, can I help you? How are you doing today, sir? Uh, I was wondering if I can just uh, have our five minutes. Oh, hold on. Yeah. 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 Thank you. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Uh, can I ask for your name, please? Michael. How are you doing, Michael? It's Chester. Nice to meet you. Uh, basically, so me and my wife, we were just uh, strolling the neighborhood, having a nice little American that's strolling our truck over there. It's 40 F-150. And uh, I happened to see a uh, Joe Biden sign at your uh, front lawn. It, it, was that some sort of mistake, sir? Uh, no. Why would that be so, a mistake? So, so, so you meant to have a Joe Biden sign in your lawn? Yeah. I put it there. Well, sir, uh, do you have American citizenship I can see by chance? I'm on you a visa. Some, you right you have some sort of ID? Sir, I don't want no bullshit. Well, I don't need visa, to show sir. you my ID. Yeah, sir, I'm gonna need some identification, sir. How do I know you're a real American? How do I know you ain't a terrorist? Come on, sir. You must not Man, know no, this because you're, you're probably not from America. Is this your first week here or something? Because this is a normal thing here, sir. I'm Have you not kid. experienced this yet? I just moved. You in. know I'm with the police, sir. Sir, I work with the FBI. I, you don't want to mess with me, sir. I'm gonna need to see some sort of identification. Can you please back up off my porch, sir. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need to see some citizenship, sir. You know what, sir? Don't even worry about it. I'm gonna go take that sign out myself. Here comes pro-life male Karen pushing his ideology onto people. These are easily the dumbest people on the face of the earth. It doesn't matter if you're pro-life or pro-choice, but pushing your beliefs on other people is absolutely ridiculous. Can you, if you want to stand up for your child in there, are you, are you going to be a man? Do you have a do you have a, a wife in there or a girlfriend? Okay. Here. Listen, we're, we're not we're not against you. Hold yes, on. Sir. How can I help you? I'm for How can you. I help you. Don't touch me. Get your hands off right. me. That, that's too you old. too. Hey partner, I'm just standing aside. Cool. I'm not with this guy. We're here in the okay? I'm for you. I don't want you to make a, a choice. It's gonna be What the fuck are you talking about? What, uh, are, do you have a woman in there? Why do you keep asking me personal questions? I'm asking you if What if I work here? Okay. Do you work there? Hey, me alone, dude. I'm leaving you alone. You don't want to talk to me? I do not. Okay, then so go stop waving me down and trying to push your beliefs on me. Okay, well, you can go back to your car then. If oh, you don't now want to I'm talk excused. To me. I, you wanted me to come here waving no, me down. You, now I'm here. I'm asking you if you were involved in the murder of your child to repent. I'm asking you to mind your own business. When, when you Woo! when you stop murdering Hell, Satan. your child, I'll mind my own business. Dude, you have no idea what's going on. This is your personal opinion of something you have no idea about. Or you're giving me your personal opinion. I'm not What's doing anything except answering your questions. Could you back up a little no, bit? No, I can't. You can, though. 
Okay, I'll back up. Don't come closer. Why not? Because that would be violating my space, Whatever, according dude. to you. Thanks for the video recording. I hope you show the rest of the world. Please do not push your beliefs on random strangers that are driving by. Hell please yeah. Murder, guys, please don't murder. Hell yeah, buddy. I'm with you. Why, why are you yet telling me because this? Because I care about you. I don't want to be a coward. Why, why are you yet telling me because this? Because I care about you. I don't want to see you. What's the point? I'm a random fuck. Do I look like I'm pregnant? You're created in God. the image of God. You are created oh in the image goodness. of God. See how I don't care you. about you, and I don't Christians want Christians to... have to push their beliefs, man. I don't want to You're see... pushing your belief on me. I don't You're want pushing to... your belief I'm on me. I'm not pushing it on anybody. Why do you I'm feel preaching. the need, as you're human, to educate me as a person? You can reject it. Did I come ask for your stuff? I'm telling you, you're going to I am to rejecting it. You do not that... repent. <laughs> and I don't want to see you that happen to you. You are so funny. I don't want to see it. Stay there. No! No! I, I thought you said we were supposed to rec we were I don't to care what I said. Each other. Oh, so now you want to. No, man, you guys are now flagging gonna... random people are down. I'm going to waste your f time like you're wasting everyone else's. You got this on tape, right? Yeah, I hope you do, man. No, I sir, mean, I sir, hope you guys do. Sir, we're no, out, there we're, is we no care sir. about you. I don't know why you're coming up because as a stranger telling me you care brother, about me. I, care about I do you. not care if you don't care you about me. You're going to pay my bills? You're going to face your You ain't going to pay my bills. Listen to you just talking. Ho, ho, ho. Just talking. Wait, you just Are you, If you would yes. like to pay some of yes. my bills, I'll yes. sit here and listen to you. I will pay your bills. Okay, give me some money then. Call your wife. Call, no, no. Call your wife right now. Tell her not to murder your baby and we will help you. Oh that is goodness. our offer. That's what you're here? Do you guys not have jobs? Sir, we have jobs. This is our job, okay? I'm offering you help. Do you want help? I don't need your fucking help, dude. dude. I will help you. I don't want your fucking help. Well, then don't say, then don't say what are you here for? I'm what saying, are you we'll here for? I don't want your help unless you're going to give me some money for my time right now. That's the only okay. thing I want from you. I'm not going to give you money for your time to murder your baby. Okay? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's what you think's going on. That's really what you do out here for people. It, tell me it's not. Out murdering tell babies. Me it's not. Well, it's not. Well, why it's is it not? It's not murdering guys, babies. That's guys. what you think you're stopping something from happening so out why here are you with so you? about it. Because you keep flagging me down, dude. I'm happy. Phone calls and stuff. What, what are you mad about? I'm if, mad at you, dude. You're no, pushing your beliefs on people. I don't you're want not, it. You just continue to try to push serious. it on me. You continue to try to push it on me. You're not I don't want anything. I don't want anything. This male Karen apparently doesn't like people fishing. Get a life, dude. That right there. Littering. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Say cheese, guys. Cheese. Man, you just don't give up, huh? Uh huh. Yeah. You already went viral before. You're gonna go viral again. Here we go. Oh yeah, big problem. Yep. This Karen is absolutely insane or has some kind of mental illness. I can't tell, but I guess she's freaking out about her favorite restaurant going out of business. Uh, Jeff, you take a picture of me going I'm so excited to meet my first real life Karen. Right here. Yeah. yeah. Right here. What's going on? <laughs> this is a Chelsea. Okay. Chelsea Handler. I get to, is she joking or is this serious? No, I'm serious. I'm serious. It's a fucking heart attack, oh. you rotten bastard. What's going on? I'm serious as a... Heart attack! Yeah, yeah. Serious about what? How long to take? What are you talking about? How long to take? How long to what take? How long to take to get the schlack in your food? What does that mean? How about your bartenders? What are they all women? I have no idea. I don't work here. Who, who named it? Not me. What happened to the restaurant before it was here? Obviously, they didn't make it. They didn't make it? It seems that way. If are they're not here. Noah's? I'm sorry? You going to Noah's today? What is Noah's? Noah's in Stonington? I don't live around here. You don't even know Thomas. I live in Situate. I just can't do this anymore. It's too much fun. Right here. You got hey, any, you two. Any more? Ah, I'm there like it is. Your channel, you All right, awesome. Did you get to Chelsea? Who's Chelsea? Chelsea Handler. What about her? I don't know. She's the fucking rich bitch that's really loony that loves to speak her mind. It looks like you're missing just the rich part, huh? Are you Greek? Am I what? Greek? Am I Greek? Yeah. No, I don't have enough hair to be Greek. 
Oh, you're gonna record me now? All right. That's smelling really good. There you go. Fucking make sure she's a chef. How about that? <laughs> Never did that. All right, hey, it's Not a... a million f years have I ever done that? <laughs> oh, man, every time I think you're done, you just step it Not up a bit. a million f years All right. have I ever put shellac in someone's food. You All right. got that, you f Woo, you're gonna I have a heart attack. I don't even believe it. I don't even believe what a I hope you do enough cardio. No, I don't. You want to see my tummy too? No, it's clearly. <laughs> I was told I look like shit at the beach. <laughs> well, it makes or sense. I look like shit at the beach. All right. All right, I got to get back to work. Hey, this has been great. I was super excited for this. Thank you so much. Uh-oh, racist Karen doesn't like African Americans. Yikes. Oh. I am also friends with the girling and the Lockhart. It was very nice to meet you. It was nice for you to harass me too. Ambassador Nicole Christine Edwards, uh -huh. N I C H O L L E. I will. You have a great. You have, you have a great day. Here are two really dumb male Karens complaining about roads, dogs, and I don't even know what. But having blue dreads probably instantly makes you a Karen. Oh. Never. You need to back. You need to get away from me. You need to get away from me. You need to get away from me. You keep walking down the goddamn road. No one asked you to stop Come here. Come on, no big boy. Dance. Take what you want. Keep walking down the road. Take what you want. Keep walking down the road. Take what you want. You keep walking. Take what you want. What do you want. think I want? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Why won't you walk down the Why don't along? you get back on your lawn? Why don't you keep walking? I, why would you I? You me out here. Why would I? Because you don't here. You don't belong here. I don't. I've lived here for 35 years. Are you, you kidding me? It was a dirt road. All this shit was. You live there? You live all there. this shit was a dirt road. Now, one road. of these complained about your dog. Now, one of these dogs complained about your dog. Hey, one bit. do you hear him complaining about your dog? Do you, you hear him? Keep walking. Do you hear him complaining about your dog? Keep walking. Do you hear him complaining about your dog? As a matter of fact, he wants to go. Down the road, you walk right on down the road. You, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to walk. Give a I am going to walk down this damn road. Then I'm going to come back and hunt you. I, I can't wait. Oh, you don't I want it. You don't I want it. You don't want it. I can't look away. Oh, yeah. Curly yeah, hair. Ex-Marine. You're Ex -Marine. always a Marine. Well, you're dead. Here's a stupid male Karen arguing with some Popeye's chicken employees over 11 cents. Come on, bro. Everyone is wasting their time over what? A dime and a penny? Unbelievable. 2011, I, I get back 20? I'll just okay. give you the money back. I'll just no, give you, you gave me 20, I gave you 2011. No, no, I'm saying me. I gave you 1011 back. I didn't know. 20. Right, because you said you had, no. you gave them 2011. I don't have 11 cents. I just gave it's it to like you with silver, the receipt. It's like, like a silver, like a silver truck. Like a silver, like SUV, cents? yep. I just gave you with the, with the receipt, sir. Where's the 11 cents, man? I just gave it to you. Where? You just, wherever you put the receipt at. It's probably inside the receipt. The receipt? That you threw yeah, on the floor. Yeah, you just threw on the floor. No, I threw three chick, three weak-ass chicken tenders on the floor. No, you just You're threw the receipt. It's here? It should be, because I gave you the 11 cents. Oh, look, it's not in there. Sir, I so give you a liar? Just, just, just give him the 11 cents, bro. You're trying to hold bro. on to 11 cents? You're caring Where, about 11 yeah. cents. You are. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are. This is so funny. Do you understand bro. that you are? Then like, you guys are caring about Popeye's 11 cents on top of it. Not even your own. Yo, this wild Karen was upset that someone parked in her spot. Last time I checked, parking on the road is public property. What's hilarious is that Karen starts pretending that this guy's car hit her and hurt her spleen? That has to be one of the most creative injuries I've ever heard of. Karen then proceeds to call the cops and claims that she was in an accident and has a head injury. The guy recording calls her bluff and doesn't move an inch. The stupid thing about this video is that there's tons of parking available all down the street. What an absolute joke. Here is another Karen who doesn't like electric cars. After knocking on this guy's window, Karen accuses this guy of polluting the environment with his idling car. This dude has a good laugh asking Karen how is his car polluting the environment. 
Karen responds saying that the horrible fumes coming from his exhaust are going into the air and that there are children living in this neighborhood. Eventually, this guy informs Karen that his car is electric and that Teslas don't have an engine or emit fumes. Karen doesn't believe him and asks what is a Tesla and that she thinks it's ludicrous that he's just sitting here idling in his car. What's funny is that a group of kids come by and start laughing at Karen. They tell her that it is a Tesla and that Teslas are indeed electric vehicles. Karen refuses to believe them as well and starts arguing with the kids, claiming that this guy is still polluting the atmosphere. 